Morning guys, morning, 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 let's make sure that's square up, well, what a night, it's been lovely, this campsite's amazing, it really is, Elan Oak it's called, it's just before you get into Elan Valley, literally about 100 metres if that, you uh, come to this field here, and you've got toilets right there that I quite clean every day, there's uh, two sinks as well for doing washing up, which is called drinking water. And then what is awesome, further up by the start, you've got shower rooms with a toilet, a sink, and a hot shower in like a cubicle. Oh, it's brilliant. I've been and had a hot shower this morning as soon as I got up. But now we're going to uh, make a coffee before we start packing up. So this is the jet boil that I got for free. brilliant it ain't got a clicker on it so you have to have a lighter but yeah I filled that with water yesterday so this is the one that I got for free there we go chops are good in so now just that on there click it up and leave it for a few minutes so what we'll do is we'll just move that out of the way. So I wanted to show you this uh, table that I've got. This table is awesome. So look at the size of it. It's dead light, really light. And it's just two pieces of uh, stainless steel, I think this is. That's been crimped. All you do is turn it over, just make sure you can see it. I think I bought this off Amazon for like 30 quid or something, if that. I'll put a link in the description anyway. And it's held together by these two uh, pieces of bent wire. It like springs them into place. So there's that. And there's your two pieces there. Isn't that brilliant for a little table? Bought this knife as well. This cost me £14, this knife, from uh, a shop called Back. It's in a place called Elland. 14 quid it was. And it's a uh, Opinel. Yeah, there's a knife. I haven't even used it yet. It's got a lock on it as well. That's mint. Right, so we're going to make a cup of coffee and then we're going to start packing everything away. I've just cleaned the uh, screen on front of the uh, motorbike so you guys will be able to see through it a little bit better today. I need to clean the visor on the helmet. Pack everything away. The tent was awesome. The tent was really good. It, it was a bit windy last night, but it stood up. Just kept up with it. Yeah, I'm really, really pleased. I'm going to come back here again. It's an awesome campsite, it really is. These guys up here were a little bit noisy, but not noisy, noisy. Just, you know, you could hear them in the background dicking about. Yeah, it's lovely. So today, we're going to get on. We're going to visit some more places. There's a pub literally just a stone's throw away as well. Well, it's actually a hotel. And uh, a guy up there with a Pan Am. His name's Alan came over and said hello and everything and uh, he said oh I'm going up to a pub for a pint or two you're welcome to join me I says yeah alright then I says I'll, I'll finish my pot noodle off because I was stuffing a pot noodle at the time and I'll meet you up there and why three pints later <laughs> we stumbled back home got home back to the tents and had a nice kip well my first first night camping on the motorbike and the sleep was on and off but I don't know, I think I've got about eight hours in total, maybe. Maybe seven. So it's enough today. That enough to I feel alright now, I've had a shower. I feel great. I feel absolutely great. Got my big spoon. Sea to summit one. So I think every time we come on a little camping trip like this, I'll show you a little bit more equipment that I use. 
Well, it's amazing, it's just so peaceful here. We're going to go look at the village today, have a mooch around, maybe get some breakfast, I don't know, see what there is there. Take some photos, get the drone up. It's a bit cloudy this morning, in fact I'll unclip you in a minute and we'll, uh, we'll have a look around it. <clears throat> I'll just give you a quick waz around. Look at it's a right state in there. Got one of them chairs there, that's brilliant that, that thing. Well sturdy, really good. Bikes there, covered her up last night just to keep the dew off it. Yeah, but the tent is absolutely brilliant. I can't believe how good it is. You can stand up in it and everything. And it didn't take long to put up. Yeah, so this is a uh, this is the view of uh, Elan Oak camping site. Oh, but now you can see the sinks over there next to the toilets because the van's moved see the van that was there before that's the guy who cleans the toilets out every day and cleans the sinks every day and same with the shower rooms anyway guys right i'm gonna crack on get packed up and then we're gonna mooch on out of here so i'll see you in a bit right guys so we're back on we're all packed up ready to go just double checking that everything's As it is, that could be tighter, really. Oh, yeah. There we go, make that a little bit tighter. She's a bit lent over. So the ground's really soft and I've got my Thunderfoot underneath as well. So, this is gonna be interesting, but I've left the campsite, how I found it. No rubbish, the sun's coming out, it's beautiful. Mirrors are fine, 52 degrees. I just have to take it steady. There we go, we're out of here. Yeah, I'll catch you later, mate. Right, yeah, nice one. Nice one. Right. See you later. There we go. Beautiful. And we're out of here. Ellen Oaks, that campsite, guys. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Still recording. So we're just going to go down to the village now. I'm going to see if I can get... Really could do with a drink. Bloody thirsty as hell. I'm going to open the visor a bit so it'll probably sound really crappy. It's just stunning round here, isn't it? It's bloody lovely. This is the stream or the river. That's what runs down the side of the campsite. And it comes from the dams that we looked at yesterday. Oh wow. So can we go across these bridges? That's the visitor center. Uh, I'm assuming we can. God, this is a bit sketchy. I thought there was a lot more here, to be honest. Let's go and have a look down here. Look at that, that looks old, doesn't it, that one? We'll go in the visitor centre, let's just have a quick look. 
lots of cars and wheelchairs. Let's go this way then. The work is here to do. Look at this thing, turbine. Bit of a beast, isn't it? With the axe in his hand. Look at that fella. Looks buggered, doesn't he? Island Cemetery, 1904 to 2004. Well, 100 years. Look at this thing. A Gilbert, Gilks and Gordon Limited, Kendall, England. Number 5026. So, yeah. So, the water, obviously, comes either in here or in here. I think it might actually come in here. So it comes in here, goes up and over the turbine, and then out of the other one. It might be the opposite way around, I'm not too sure. And then that turns this shaft. That's obviously a brake or a clutch, the handle. Turns that shaft, and then this turns this thing. I don't know whether that's a gyro or what in there. I mean, like a big flywheel. Maybe it will be, actually. That might be a flywheel just to keep the motion smoother. And I suppose this goes on to pulleys, maybe. I don't know. Crazy, isn't it? A big lump of metal, though, that. Big lump. Look at the shadow of the clouds going along the hills, nice and slowly. It's a beautiful day. I think we're going back up North Yorkshire uh, on Saturday. Got to be up early for that. And someday I think I might be going out for a run with Neil. Let's start round here. I'm kind of pinging away. Do you know what? To say that he only washed her last night, she looks bloody good to say she's done. 200 and odd miles today, maybe. Have to have a look, won't we? See how many miles she's done. So we're on set on one person with luggage and uh, set on road for the comfort. So that's the softer suspension. Yeah, I'm sorry if there's wind, guys, but look at this, and it's stunning. Got a polarizing lens on this, so it should look proper good. In fact, I should have stood over here at this corner, shouldn't have done a full sweep around. Let's do that then. Eh? Beautiful.
So I think that's all we've got time for today, to be honest. We're just going to be going home on the motorway, so that's going to be boring. So if you like this episode, then please don't forget to smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed and you want to see more content like this. And share with your mates on uh, Facebook if you think they'll like it. And until next time, guys, peace out.